One year ago today, the war in Ukraine began. A lot has happened in the past 12 months. CBS 2's Chris Ty talked with Illinois legislators and Chicago area medical personnel who have made the trip to Ukraine, and they've witnessed that war firsthand. It is Europe's biggest war since World War II. But on the night before it began, it was Google traffic maps that revealed the slow roll of Russian forces into Ukraine, signaling this war would be different than any that preceded it. Over the last 12 months, governments have imposed stringent sanctions on Russia to pressure President Vladimir Putin to abandon the war. And while that has been unsuccessful, Ukraine's military has held its ground in ways very few expected. The intel we were getting a year ago was that we thought this war, that, you know, the Russians would be in Kiev in a week or two. Congressman Sean Kasten represents Illinois' 6th District. He says the U.S. offering aid and intelligence has helped Ukraine reclaim control of cities Russia overtook in the early days. But some of Kasten's colleagues have shown a desire to decrease aid. It is in Russia's foreign interest for the United States not to provide aid to Ukraine, not to be the enforcer of the post-World War II order, not to ensure that we are meeting the rule of law around the world. And I've got, you know, a handful of colleagues across the aisle who are supportive of that idea. Indiana Senator Mike Braun said last year, I support helping Ukraine expel the Russian invasion. But as inflation, gas prices and shortages wallop Americans here at home, I can't support $40 billion of new spending unless it's offset with cuts or taken from already authorized funds. Thousands have been killed in this war. More than 8 million Ukrainians have fled. So this is a view of our, our medical tent, and um, right here is actually the border crossing. And while the U.S. has not sent in troops, United States citizens, including some from Chicago, have traveled to Ukraine in humanitarian roles. Dr. Jeremy Topin is a pulmonologist from Northbrook. You know, a, a lot of people have been resigned. This war is going to go on for a long time. And uh, a lot of the women and their fam the, the wives and their children, they, they don't want to be gone from their husbands who are in the, who are in the military. And so they're going back. Um, and so it's sort of distressing to, to see. He spoke with us last spring about his trip into the war-torn nation. He says he wants to return, but the instability one year in is too much for his family to support, so he's staying home as a war of Russian disinformation and Ukraine resilience wages on. Chris Tai, CBS2 News. Representative Kasten says it is clear that Putin has overplayed his hand, and it's the job of the U.S. to support Ukraine without provoking Russia into escalating into World War III.